Hello and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the 100 days challenge. Let's begin today's video. So for all those who have joined me from this video only and have not watched the previous one. This was my day one Philippines. This is day two Mount Fuji and this is Kenya day three. And this was day 4 Santorini and now I am going to paint day 5 Italy and today unlike yesterday the camera stand did not ditch me and I have recorded the entire process. So here we go I draw a horizon line higher on the paper and I am roughly drawing a silhouette of the city in the background. So no specific shapes or details here, just some shapes to show the buildings and I'm keeping the drawing very very light so that I don't get the pencil marks in the final output. Now here I am taking my vanishing point for the perspective and from that point only I will be drawing the gondola and the wooden platform both will be um, in the guiding lines of this vanishing point like so. So here's the gondola and now I have to, I'm erasing these guidelines and now I will draw the wooden platform next to the gondola again with the guideline of the same vanishing point because it's the one point perspective. There. Here are the stands of the wooden platform. And for the composition, I am drawing some elements over here, like some bamboo sticks in this part. It's a very tiny sketchbook, but it's very cute. It's from Menorah. Again, it's not a paid partnership. It's not sponsored. I have bought it from Amazon. But if you want, you can buy it from Amazon using the link I will leave in the description so do check out the link if you like to buy this tiny um, sketchbook it's not 100% cotton but it's okay for these small uh, watercolor sketches and here I am making a post for the lamp reflection in the water 
like that and that's it we are done with the sketch now let's start painting so i start with wetting the paper lightly I take some blue for the sky. I will keep the upper part of the sky darker and slowly and gradually I'll make it light. And now with almost the same mix I am painting the water. As you see I have left some space between the two uh the sky and the water that is for the horizon line i am building up the water like that leaving some white uncolored uh paper here and there random strokes to represent the ripple in the water and now with yellow ochre i paint the horizon while that paper uh, while the paper over there is still wet because i want a soft blend of colors but i won't be touching the blue portions too much with my brush because i don't want to create mud yellow ochre and blue will blend and make either green or muddy color so i don't want that now i mix some green in the same blue mix and with that i'm going over the water making some texture of the waves and ripples like so Now I am taking some burnt sienna in my brush, very light amount of it. You can even take a violet mix, and I am going over this yellow ochre to give the background city a distant look, a misty look, like that. And my yellow ochre is still wet, so both the colors are merging and blending together, like that. now with a dark and creamy mix of brown i am painting the wooden platform so i painted dark brown and now washed my brush and just spreading that color over the entire wooden platform this will help define the form and dimension of the platform and now again i'm taking a very dark value of this brown and painting the side of the platform for creating the shadow part like that some strokes on the platform while it's still wet to create the wood texture
and now I am painting the lamp post. And other bamboo pillars. If you notice, I have changed my brush to a synthetic one. A small synthetic one uh, for all these things because it's more snappy and that's what I need for fine lines and details I painted the background and the first washes with the mop brush but for these details I am using this synthetic brush by Princeton all the links of the supplies I'm using here will be in the description so do check out that if you want to buy here I had not drawn the railing of the wooden platform but right now I just feel like uh, drawing that so I'm just drawing roughly like so And now let's paint the main su uh, subject of the painting, the gondola. For that I have mixed some cobalt blue in the same brown mix to make it bluish brown, very dark and I am leaving some white space in the middle and I will just use my clean and damp brush in those white areas to make it lighter in the center. Here I am using some dark cobalt blue at the base of the boot. All these color variations will create the rounded shape of the gondola like that. See, just dragging the color with the damp brush to make it lighter and lighter as we reach the other point of the gondola. So it immediately starts looking like three-dimensional and rounded <coughs> like so. Now let's uh, detail the boat. Now going in with the same dark mix leaving some white spaces in the middle. And now I'm using the same darker blue to fill in the gaps. And like that we complete the vessel part of the gondola wherever I feel like the blue is very very dark I just uh, lip some color with my damp clean brush and now with some thick white color I am making some highlights here and there now 
let's make the ripples the reflection on the water and for that i mixed a very dark green and blue uh, color so some green some blue and some paints gray that's what i mixed and with that i am creating this shadow part underneath the gondola and the platform and the lamp post everything even these bamboo logs Now let's paint the lamp. So here I'm just adding some structural details and for the color I will add some lavender later when it's dried. some very fine strokes for the rope that ties the gondola to the, these bamboo posts like that randomly like so and finally let's add some birds some tiny dots and v shapes in the sky and that's it we are done we are done with day 5 i hope you liked this uh, painting i hope you enjoyed the process and i hope you will join me tomorrow for the next one thank you so much if you are still here it means a lot to me thank you so much for supporting me in this journey please don't forget to share your feedback and please give this video a like share it with your friends and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i will see you tomorrow with the next painting till then stay happy stay blessed and keep painting see you